In business, you will not only encounter profit or loss, but sometimes you will also experience a break-even. So what is a break-even point? Let us talk about this in this video. Hello everyone, good day! In this video, we will talk about break-even point. Here are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define break-even and illustrate how to determine break-even point and sales. So what is a break-even point? It is a point at which neither profit nor loss is made. The profit at a break-even is zero. So R of X is equal to C of X. Break-even point is also an indicator to figure out if a certain business is viable or not, meaning is the business achievable or visible. When we say break-even point, it is also a way to determine the needed volume of products that must be sold to attain a balance between cost and revenue. What do we mean by break-even sales? Break-even sales is the other term for break-even revenue. This refers to the amount of product that must be reached to attain a balance between cost and revenue. This is given by the formula selling price times break-even point. In order to compute for the break-even, the concepts of cost, revenue, and profit are needed. So let us define each term. Let's begin with cost. When we say cost, it is the amount of money for the expenses of producing a product. The formula to find the total cost is given by variable cost plus fixed cost. So we have C of X is equal to VX plus F, where X refers to the number of units produced. So what do we mean by variable cost? This refers to the expenses of producing one unit of product. It includes expenses on raw materials, direct labor, and a lot more. The variable cost per unit is used, while fixed cost refers to the expenses for rent, utilities, wages of employees, and many more that remain the same no matter how much product is manufactured or sold. Let's have revenue. Revenue is the money received for the sale of goods or payments for the services rendered. Revenue is given by the price per unit times number of units, therefore we have R of X is equal to P times X. And as for the profit, it refers to the money earned after paying the cost of producing and selling products or services. It is the difference between the revenue and cost. So we have P of X is equal to R of X minus C of X. Here is a sample graphical diagram that represents the break-even point. According to the diagram, as we can see here, P at the middle is the break-even point. This shows that the income or revenue is equal to the total cost, and the value of the profit here is zero. To better illustrate the concept of break-even, let us have a sample real-life scenario. Let's say the ABCD Sofa Company produces sofa chairs. The fixed monthly cost of production is 470000 and the variable cost per sofa is 6200 The sofa chair sells for 10500 per piece. For a monthly volume of 140 sofa chairs, determine the total cost, total revenue, and total profit. What are the break-even point and break-even sales of the company? Based in the given real-life scenario, these are the following given values. We have the fixed cost which is 470000 the variable cost is 6200 and the price of selling the sofa chair is 10500 First question is, how much is the total cost? To solve for the total cost, we have to follow the formula or the cost function C of X is equal to the VX plus F. V is the variable cost, X is the number of sofa chairs, and F is the fixed cost. To find the cost function, we will just simply substitute the V and F. So we now have 6,200 plus 470,000. 
So this is the total cost function to be used in finding the total cost. Since we are given the number of sofa chairs produced in one month, which is 140, we will just simply substitute that value to x in this cost function. So we now have c of 140 is equal to 6,200 times 140 plus 470,000. Multiplying these two, it is equal to 868,000 plus 470,000. This results to 1,338,000 pesos. This means that the total cost in producing 140 sofa chairs in one month is 1,338,000. Let's have the second question. How much is the total revenue? In finding the total revenue, we are given by the revenue function R of X is equal to the price of the product times the number of products. So to find the revenue function, we will just simply substitute the price. So we now have R of X is equal to 10,500 times X. And in order to find the total revenue in one month of selling 140 sofa chairs, we will substitute the value of 140 to X. So we now have R of 140 is equal to 10,500 times 140. And this gives us a value of 1,470,000. This amount refers to the total revenue in selling 140 sofa chairs in one month. The third question is, how much is the total profit? To find the total profit, we need to base it in revenue function and cost function. So we now have P of X is equal to R of X minus the C of X. So here, we will just simply substitute the computed R of X and then the computed C of X. The R of X is given by 10,500 X minus the cost function, which is 6,200 X plus 470,000. You need to be very careful since the cost function contains two terms, we need to put a parenthesis to distribute the negative sign. Simplifying this, we can now have 10,500x minus 6,200x minus 470,000. Simplifying this further, we can now have the profit function which is equal to 4,300x minus 470,000. So to find the total profit in selling 140 sofa chairs in one month, let us now substitute 140 to x. So we have 4,300 times 140 minus 470,000. Multiplying these two, it is equal to 602,000 minus 470,000. This gives us an answer of 132,000. What is the meaning of this? In selling 140 sofa chairs, the total profit is 132,000. The next question is, how many sofa chairs must be sold in one month to break even? So to find this value based in the definition of break-even point, R of X or the revenue function is equal to the cost function. In doing this, we will just simply substitute the revenue function, which is given by 10,500X equals the cost function 6,200X plus 470,000. Next, we need to combine these two terms having the variable x so we can now have 10,500x minus 6,200x equals 470,000. Subtracting these two, it is equal to 4,300x equals 470,000 dividing both sides by 4,300 
cancel this two, the result is 109.30. And since x refers to the number of sofa chairs, we cannot have a decimal. So we should round this up to make it 110. What is the meaning of this? This means that 110 sofa chairs must be sold in a month to break even, to balance the cost and the revenue. Another procedure that can be done to find the break-even is by letting the profit be equal to zero. By doing this, we only need the profit function, which is 4,300x minus 470,000, then equate it to zero. Isolating the term with x, we can now have 4,300x equals 470,000. Divide both sides by 4,300, and this will result to 109.30 or 110. So you have an option whether you use R of X equals C of X or P of X equals 0 to find the break-even point. The last question is, how much must the break-even sales be? To find the break-even sales, we need to follow the formula Break-even sales is equal to selling price times break-even point. So following this formula, the break-even sales is given by the selling price, which is 10,500, times the number of sofa chairs that must be sold in a month to break even, which is given by 110, based in our solution in the previous item. Having this two, we can now have the break-even sales value, which is equal to 1,155,000. So to have a break-even sales in one month, we should be able to have a value of 1,155,000 pesos. At this point, let us check your understanding. You may pause the video to answer this problem. Are you done? Let's check your work. For letter A, the revenue function is R of X is equal to 75X, Cost function is C of X is equal to 25X plus 200,000 and P of X which is a profit function is given by 50X minus 200,000. For letter B, the break-even point and break-even sales are the following. The break-even point is at 4,000 hand towels and the break-even sales is amounting to 300,000 pesos. Were you able to get this right? If yes, very good. What are the key takeaways in this lesson? When we say break-even point, it is the point at which neither profit nor loss is made. This will also determine the number of needed products to be sold to balance the cost and revenue. And when we say break-even sales, it refers to the amount of product that must be reached to attain a balance between cost and revenue. And to find the break-even point and break-even sales, we need to take note of the following. The cost is given by C of X equals VX plus F, revenue R of X is equal to P times X, and profit is R of X minus the C of X. And to solve for the break-even point, we need to equate the R of X and the C of X, or P of X is equal to zero, and for the break-even sales, it is equal to the product of the selling price and the break-even point. Here is the end of this lesson. I hope you have learned a lot about break-even point. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Bye everyone. See you in our next video.